So after many years of sleeping on a regular size bed, I bought my first ever king size bed. What's happening Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I like traveling and when I get a hotel room, it always has a king size bed, which is nicer than the beds I've actually had. So I finally sprung and picked myself up a king size bed and I picked it up in a brand that I'm familiar with. This is Zymus and I think the model here is Shalini. And this is a gray king-sized bed, and it comes in this little flat box, but it's quite heavy. And the nice thing is, I think it's going to be like my other Zinus beds that I've set up, and all of the materials are in the headboard. So that's really good because it's so heavy, I'm going to take everything apart and take it to where I'm going to set it up. And then we'll set it up and take a look at it. All right, got it open, and as expected, the whole headboard here has a zipper back, so all of the pieces, as the sticker says, are inside of it. And then inside, it looks like we get everything that we need, the legs and hardware. It looks like the panels for the sides are right up here, and then the footboard, and then the slats that go on the base, so you don't need a box spring for this. So I'm gonna start unpacking this and getting it to the final assembly location. Okay, I'm in my bedroom where I'm gonna set this up. I put the headboard here, the footboard, which is gonna be the big upholstered board right there. These little side boards are going to cover up the sides, obviously. You're going to have these slats here and you have the cross members that go underneath over there. We also have the legs here. Now, I have followed the directions on this in the past and I'm going to follow them again today. And I think everything is pretty much the same for all the Zinus beds. Regardless of the size, it's just the pieces get bigger. So the first thing you're going to really do here is you're going to take the D, this bigger piece that kind of splays open, and it's this piece. And because this is a king size bed, you're going to want to find this, and the D is going to be pretty big. So you're going to have to get a really good hold on the D here, um, you know, get a good grasp on it, make sure that you don't drop the D because it's pretty big. You don't want to stub your toe or anything. But uh, it's just kind of nice to have a big, robust D in my hand like this, and that's going to give you the base for the board here. So uh, make sure you find the D, you split the D open here, you pull down on the D just like that, and down here on the other end, you want to make sure that you get to both ends of the D so that the D is, is uh, standing straight up like this. And as you can see, it has some hooks on the end. Basically, we're going to eventually back out these screws on the headboard and put them through here and then tighten them back down. Now, once you have the D opened up, we're gonna take these L screws here with this Allen key, and we are going to basically put them into the legs that we extended right up at the top, and that's going to keep those legs in place. So, And what's also unique about this is that it comes with this little ratchet here that replaces this Allen key. So I don't know if this comes in all the Zinus beds now or if it's just the full size king size bed like this, but on my queen size beds, I've never had this before. So it's really nice that they uh, include this and you can switch the ratcheting action back and forth, but this is gonna make it a little easier in your hand than just using those Allen keys. So pretty cool that they included it. The bolts into the D so the D is nice and stiff. Now we are going to move on to the next step. All right, the next piece that we're gonna need is the E. And this piece is just a straight bar and these legs fold out on either side. So it's not folded in half like the D. And then once we get this, you can see that it has this little tab and that's going to fit right in the middle of the D there and kind of brace it down. And then we are gonna use the rest of these L bolts to bolt the two together. Put it right in the middle here. And now we're gonna use another one of these L bolts to secure these two together. And then we're gonna use the last two L bolts to make sure that these legs that we folded out don't fold back in on themselves. Now we're gonna install some of these legs. So they have a little cap on the top. You have to take those off of the screw portion here. And then you have these plastic legs. And this is the footboard here. It's the long upholstered one. And on the bottom, we'll have a couple little holes and you're just gonna put these in here and screw it in. And you're going to put two legs on the footboard. And then you're going to screw the other two feet into the bottom of the headboard, just like this. Okay, now we're going to attach the D, this frame, to the headboard and the footboard. Now, 
A tip here is that if you have the headboard up against a wall, I would kind of lean it up against there. It's just gonna make it a lot easier if you don't have a second person. And then as I mentioned earlier, there are two bolts right here and we are going to just back them out a little bit. Let me give myself an eighth of an inch or something in space on both of these. And then once you have those backed out, you can take the end here and just slide it over the bolts and push it down and then just tighten these back up. And then you're gonna do the exact same thing on the footboard. Loosen these up. And then again, the same thing, you're gonna attach them the same way and then tighten those down. And then we're gonna to wanna to attach these side boards. So there are gonna be four of them. One that goes there, 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 and right here. Now you can't actually screw these up because you can see there are little loops right here and some bolts on the sideboard that you're gonna to have to back out as well and then put them in there and tighten them down. But then on this side, there are hooks. So you actually have the, the bolts in the footboard or the headboard and you're gonna back those out and then loop these over and then tighten them back down. So you aren't going to be able to mix them up. So let's get them installed. This may be a cheap little ratchet, but kudos to Zinus for including this. It makes it a whole lot easier. All right, now I have the two lower sideboards on, but I need to attach the board here to the headboard and you can see there are no bolts in there. They actually put them separately here on the package. So you're gonna use these M bolts to hold the other sideboard against the headboard just right there. So you're gonna need these M's. Let's get to it. All right, so my last board and you can see ratcheting in the last bolt here, which is awesome. And now from a bolt and ratchet standpoint, we are done. The last thing we need to do is put the slats, which will lay down on this Velcro strip here, kind of the support that runs all the way down the side on both sides. And then we can put a mattress on it. Okay, so you get two packages of slats here and they are basically just to kind of fill out the top. You can see that we have Velcro on the edges. So you're gonna take the one on the end here and you are going to lay it down right at the top of the headboard and start rolling them back to get to the middle. Dude, and there she is, all set up. It's actually pretty easy and whether you get you know, the full-size bed, the queen or the king, the process is pretty much the same. It's just different dimensions. As far as I can tell, they are all the same steps. Now, it's awesome because that ratchet made a ton of difference and that wasn't in the Zinus bed kits that I got before. So I don't know if that's new or it was just with this kit, but that thing was super helpful. Now, this thing actually kind of works like a box spring. You can just put a mattress on top of it my experience has been if you can get a 10 or 12 inch mattress that's going to kind of give you normal bed height and so that's going to be kind of ideal but i think these beds look good they don't take up a lot of space you know the footprint is only the footprint of the bed it's not like a sleigh headboard or something that angles back a lot you can get them in some different upholsteries but i really like these they've worked well they've lasted a long time for me they're easy to set up if you live in an apartment or a home that you don't have any tools in, these are great because everything that you need to set it up comes in the box. And they look pretty smart. So if you wanna pick up this Zionist bed, I'll put a link to this one in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.